pedestrians is causing another problem and attempts to get it fixed have run into a brick wall. Jennifer Nichols has the story. 80-year-old war veteran Tom Neisler is recovering after a devastating stroke. A diabetic, he requires constant medical checkups. But getting into the government car that comes to take him to Greenslopes Hospital hasn't been so easy since Brisbane City Council installed this concrete pedestrian refuge on Watson Road, taking away his on-street parking. It's very difficult for Tom with his mobility issues to try and walk around uh, the corner to, to access a transport service or similarly walk down the road to access a transport service. Called in by Tom's family, Jim Beck from Red Tape Busters says council's consultation process failed miserably. Being an elderly person, uh, whatever was left in Tom's letterbox, which was apparently a map and a, and a, and a letter, uh, Tom didn't take much notice or didn't have any understanding of what was, what was being uh, put up by council. Jim and his company lend a hand to the growing number of people bamboozled by bureaucracy. In this case, he's lobbying to get the cement refuge replaced with a flagged crossing. So what we do is we uh, do the research on their behalf, um, negotiate with local authorities, state government, federal government. Traffic calming is popular with many local councils throughout the southeast. Roundabouts, speed bumps, chicanes and pedestrian refuges are designed to slow down hoons and stop rat runners. But the City Council admits it's a trade-off. Some residents lose on-street parking and easy access to their properties. So it's never easily trying to retrofit some of those traffic coming devices into an older area. Jim, the car came down, down this way right. and then you can see the the tyre mark there, uh -huh. and that's where the, the sump hit actually there. Tom's neighbour, Eugene Conran, is another resident who wants the concrete island in Watson Road to go. He's already seen one serious accident and doesn't want another. Perhaps this should be further down, uh, down the road or something, but while it's 60 k's, there's trucks driving down it, uh, there's cars speeding down it, uh, it's certainly a very unsafe uh, pedestrian refuge. Residents say the issue is not the pedestrians, but the cars. That without further street calming, the crossing is not only dangerous, but useless. But Gay Clark is one local mum who says the refuge has made the busy road safer for students from two nearby primary schools. Having the, um, the cement around me, I sort of feel that it slows the traffic down um, and it sort of makes the traffic aware that we're that we're there, because often we would just be stuck in the middle of the road while there was traffic passing us either, either way. Councillor Kevin Bianchi says the pedestrian refuge is there to stay. He wants to introduce more traffic calming and reroute heavy traffic. And I don't think anyone would want to see us um, not take every precaution to protect the community. And if somebody was uh, struck by a car outside, uh, I don't think the loss of parking is too high a price to pay. You're watching Extra still to come tonight.